Hey fellow aviators, uh, my name is Chris Palmer from Angle of Attack and I'm kind of in an interesting situation and I think this is worth bringing up to all of you as well. So I am on uh, the few final days of my ability to act as pilot in command per the flight review part that we need to keep for recency of experience. So 6156 says that every 24 calendar months we need to um, have that flight review. So I was curious, is the FAA doing anything right now to answer the pandemic issues? Because I'm reaching out to instructors, seeing who is willing to fly right now. I'm kind of not even myself. And so I'm kind of wondering, what can we do? Is there anything out there? And it just so happens that on this date, April 29th, the FAA did release some fairly wide ranging regulation changes for various parts of the regulation. So I wanna show you in this particular case um, what that means for me, but also to have you look at it because something may apply to you for something else like instrument currency or required crew members or second in command. There's, there's a lot of different aspects to this and it's definitely something you're going to want to search through. So let's take a look at it. So looking here um, on this particular document and I'll make sure to put a, a link to this in the comments um, or, or the, the description. I come here to the flight review section, okay? And so I'm wondering if because I'm an active instructor, I can actually continue to, uh, to fly even though I can't get a flight review in the next few days. So what I found out is that I can. They are going to be extending this up to three months um, in this particular case. So three calendar months um, and that adding that they say it won't affect safety they're saying if you are current to act as pilot in command at, as of march 2020 and it was due somewhere between march and and june then you're good to go uh but you need to have logged 10 hours of pic time within the 12 calendar months preceding the flight review and and i qualify for all of those things so that means that um that means that I can move forward, okay? So this is just one aspect of the regulations that has changed. And so I wanted to just open this up to you guys in the comments. Like, what are some things that you notice here that have changed? Because I saw that this document was literally published today and I haven't seen anything out there on the internet about it. So um, just thought I'd bring it to your attention and see what you guys thought. So in the comments, go ahead and, and share some other things that you noticed in this document. I'm not gonna go through the whole thing in its entirety, but I think it'll be helpful for other pilots here to see those comments and what's available. Um, and then I can even update the, this, the description as I see those. Uh, make sure to subscribe for more updates. I'm trying to provide a lot of training resources during this whole pandemic process just to keep a lot of you students busy and things. So. Um, great to have you aboard, great to have you here, and hope that you guys are happy, healthy, and well wherever you are through all of this. And this is actually just a, a welcome relief from the FAA in a safe way that allows us to keep flying. So I appreciate them being on the ball. All right, uh, look forward to hearing from you guys. Until next time, throttle on.